Hello student, today we will do question number 8 of exercise uh, 3.2. Your question is find x if y is equal to first row 3 2, second row 1 4 and 2x plus y equal to first row 1 0 and second row minus 3 2. So in your question the value of y, the matrix y is given and, and, and a matrix equation is given you have to find out the value of x. So, here what we will do? We will go to substitute the value of y in the matrix equation and then we will do the calculations and then uh, after that we will get the value of x. So, first we will substitute or what is given? Given equation, let us first write down. Your given equation is 2x plus y is equal to, this is given, 1, 0, minus 3, 2. Okay. After that, we substitute the given value of y. Twice x keep you as it is, plus y value is what? 3, 2, 1, 4. This one is equal to, write down the right hand side as it is. After that, your aim is to get the value of x. So, keep the term containing x on the left side and bring the other matrix to the right side. That give you, if you bring it to the right side, it become 1, 0, minus 3, 2, minus this matrix on the right side. This is positive on the left. So, it become negative. So, 3, 2, 1, 4. Now, do the calculation. That is what? It's a 2 by 2 matrix comparable. So, we can subtract 1 minus 3. The first term, first row, first column element. First row, second column element is 0 minus 2. Then second row, first column, minus 3 minus 1. And second row, second column is what? 2 minus 4. Okay. After that, doing the calculation, what we'll have? Twice x equal to 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2, 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2, minus 3 minus 1 equal to minus 4 and 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2. This calculated value we have got. After this, you, if you bring this 2 to the right side, 2 is here it is as a product. So, on the right side it will be as division. Okay. So, x will be equal to 1 by 2 into this matrix. Now, do the scalar multiplication. Hope you remember, multiply each and every element by half. That give you um, half into minus 2 minus 1. Again, half into minus 2 is minus 1. Like that, half into minus 4 is minus 2. And half into minus 2 is equal to <laughs> minus 1. So, this is the value of x. Okay. So, here the question number 8 is completed. Now, go to question number 9. Okay. Let us go to question number 9. So, in your question here, find x and y if this is the matrix equation given. Now, here you see, here in the previous case, you have to get the value of x that is a matrix. But now in this case, this x and y are elements of the matrices. <coughs> Sorry. So, here, first to write down the matrix equation as given. Here, we will go to write down this. After that, we have to do step by step. First, obviously, we will do what? The matrix multiplication, the scalar multiplication. By doing scalar multiplication, it will become 2 into 1, that is 2. 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 0 is 0. And 2 into x is twice x. Keep it as it is. And this one also as it is. Now, I'll change these two matrices to 1 using the addition of matrices. So that we can compare the matrices in the next step. So, adding will have 2 plus y. is 2 plus y remains as it is. 6 plus 0 is 6, 0 plus 1 is 1 and twice 6 plus 2 is equal to, keep it as it is. On the right side, keep it as it is. Now you see, both the sides are comparable matrices, matrices of order 2 by 2. So in comparing, what we'll have? Comparing the corresponding elements of these two matrices, we'll have what? Twice x plus y equal to 5, 6 equal to 6, no, no need to write down. 1 is equal to 1, again a constant not required to write. Twice x plus 2 equal to 8 that also we can write down okay so here on solving this is the matrix this matrix now become a binary equation so if you solve it we'll get what y equal to 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 from here we'll have twice x plus 2 equal to 8 so on solving twice x equal to 8 minus 2 that is 6 so x equal to 3 so we have got the values of x and y you see what is the difference between the question number 8 and question number 9 in question number 8, your aim is to get the value of the matrix X. Okay. But in question number 
9 your aim is to get the value of the elements or entries x and y of the given matrix hope you understand the difference now let us go to the question number 10 the question is solve the equation for x y and z and t if this is the matrix equation given so as in the previous case we are going to write down the matrix equation first <laughs> Then do the scalar multiplication, it becomes twice x, twice z, twice y and twice t. Here we have to multiply by 3. So it becomes 3, minus 3, 0 and 6. On the right also we have to do scalar multiplication. So 3 to the 9, 3 5 are 15, 3 4 are 12 and 3 6 are 18. Okay. And let us convert it into single matrix. Add it, add a both, both matrices corresponding elements twice x plus 3 this become twice z minus 3 twice y plus 0 so directly we can write down twice y twice d plus 6 equal to the right hand side keep it as it is now both the sides are convert to a but uh, matrices of same order so you can write down here comparing both the sides what will have twice x plus y equal to 9 twice z minus 3 equal to 15 twice y equal to 12 twice d plus 6 equal to 18 okay so we have got this line after this just to solve the equations so here we can solve it like this twice x equal to 9 minus 3 will be 6 so x equal to 3 okay now twice z equal to if you bring 3 to the right side it becomes twice z equal to 18 so z is equal to 18 by 2 is equal to 9 okay then twice y equal to 12 so y equal to 12 by 2 is equal to 6 then in this case twice t equal to 18 minus 6 that is 12 so t is equal to 12 by 2 equal to 6. So this completes the solution of question number 10 because we have got the values of x, y, z and t. Okay. Let us proceed to the next question number 11. It Again it's a matrix equation. You have to get the values of x and y. Okay. So first write down your equation. Then do scalar multiplication. Okay. So it becomes twice x, tri twice x, twice x. This also minus y plus y. Keep it as it is. Do addition so that it will convert to a single matrix. Twice x plus minus y that is twice x minus y. This is twice x plus y is equal to 10 and 5. Now comparing the corresponding elements of the matrices we'll have what? Twice x minus y equal to 10 and twice x plus y equal to 5. Here you directly direct, you cannot get but these two simultaneous equation can be solved. If I add it, then y will be eliminated. So adding what will have? Twice x plus minus y plus twice x plus y is equal to 10 plus 5. So y y will cancel out. On the left side, we'll have 5x equal to 15. That the line I skip here because I have written here adding the two equations. Then we got the value of x equal to 3. After getting x equal to 3, if you put it in any one of the equation, here I have substituted in the second equation. Twice x plus Mm, twice x equal to plus y equal to 15, 5. So y equal to 5 minus twice x. So 5 minus 3 is a 9, that is equal to minus 4. And we got the values of x and y. x is 3 and y equal to minus 4. Okay. Now go to the next question number 12. Again, 12 is similar with the previous questions. Matrix equation is given. So you can easily solve it. Okay. And mm, here you see first I'm writing the equation. Then I have done the scalar multiplication on the left and on the right we are adding it. Then both the side convert to the comparable matrices. So comparing will have what? Trisex equal to x plus 4. We can solve it or directly we can write down the comparison step. After that also we can solve it. Anyway, you can solve it in this two, two different way. Directly prathamate likhi loe pele tap set compare kori kori bapara. Nai ba sidha siti attack e compare kora by equation to solve kori zwa. So ami ete ki palu? Price x equal to x plus 4, that is x equal, price x equal to 4, so x equal to 2. After that, next is what? Price y, price y equal to 6 plus x plus y. So, here, if I bring y to the left side, it become twice x equal to 6 plus x. x value we have got just now, substitute, you will get it y, x equal, twice x equal to 8, so y equal to 4. Similarly, price z equal to minus 1 plus z plus w, okay. So, after that, uh, here, okay, after it here I have solved it in the next line. So twice z, if I bring this to the left side, it becomes twice z equal to minus 1 plus w. 
so w value uh, here actually i have done this previously because w value you have to substitute you can keep it as it is after getting the value of w you have to substitute it and w value we can get by comparing the two two element with two two element okay so you have to solve the equation and then we got the values of x y z and w hope you understand the solution of different types of matrix equations okay after that we have to do a solution like this it's a very important question fx is given as this one cos x minus sin x 0 sin x cos x 0 0 0 1 you have to show it that fx into f y equal to x f of x plus y so as fx is given so first we can write down fx then just using this or changing this x to y we can find out f of y as this one f of y will be equal to what cos y minus sin y then 0 sin y and all these things okay after that to get the left hand side we have to do the product and to get the right hand side replace x by x plus y so i have done here the first uh, the right hand side that is x plus y equal to cos of here it is x so replace x by x plus y it become cos of x plus y this is minus sin of x plus y zero keep it as it is sin of x plus y cos of x plus y zero and constants remains as it is the, for the right left hand side you put fx and fy do matrix multiplication it's a 3 by 3 matrix both are square matrices of order 3 by 3 so matrix multiplication exists and answer is a matrix of order 3 by 3 so doing the product we'll have what first first row first column element that is what cos x cos y minus sin x sin y plus 0 into 0 is 0 okay then first row second column here i have to write that is minus cos uh, cos x into minus sin y that is minus sin uh, cos x sin y this is plus minus minus sin x into cos y and this is 0 then first row third column this is 0 0 and 0 ok similarly complete the calculation and after that this is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y it is a formula of cos of x plus y so here you can write down cos of a plus b formula cos of a plus b formula is what cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so using we have got it here you see sin and cos together here, there. So taking minus sin common, we can write it as sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. Okay. So sin x cos y plus cos x sin y is equal to what? Cos sin of x plus y. So we got it. 0, 0, 0. You can keep it as it is. It is sorry. No. It, it should be 1. Okay. Do this correction. Because third row, third column, if you do 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So it should be 1. This step I have write correctly, but here is a mis mistake. So make a correction. Make this correction. Then after that, the third row, third column, 0 into 0 is 0, 0, 0. Again, this is 0, 0, 0. This is 0 into 0 is 0, 0 and 1. So, we have got this line. And now you compare it to f of x plus y. You see, both this is similar with f of x plus y. So, we have got it x plus y and hence the result. Okay. So, uh, question number uh, 14. It's a simple multiplication. Simple multiplication, you have to do the product of these two matrices and change the position and you have to show it that the products are not equal hope you can do the product yourself i'll give you the image of this uh, solution but uh, solution you try yourself okay both the solution images i'll give in the description box now i go to question number 15 just a minute okay this is 14 okay this one is question number 15 for 15, you have to, to find out a square minus 5a plus 6i, where a is given as this matrix. So, you see, as you have to find out a square, and a square can be obtained by doing a into a. Okay, a into a means you write down this matrix, mat, matrix a twice. Right? Then do the product of the matrices. Doing the product, the 3 by 3 matrix. So, first row, first column, first row, second column, this is the value first row third column this one then similarly second row first column second row second column this is the answer second row third column and so on you complete and completing i have just skip the line you can uh, do it yourself so 0 to 2 to 0 4 i have written here then first row 0 into 2 is 0 1 1 0 1 then first row second column 0 to 0 0 this is 0 minus 1 similarly you complete and we'll have the value of a square after getting a square you see you have to find out 5a and 6i also. So, what is i represent here that you have to know? Here, 
I represent the identity matrix of order 3. And what is that? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So let us put, find out those values and substitute. So we, here you have to find out this value. So I have substituted first a square, then 5 into a and 6 into this is your i. Do the calculation here, scalar multiplication and so on. Then after that I have done this in two step. You can do it in one step also. First I have done the subtraction. Then again I have done the addition. Okay. Doing the subtraction and addition, ultimately we will get this is the value of the value of a square minus 5a plus 6i. So today I stop here. Uh, next solution I will give in the next, uh, next video. So images of this uh, <coughs> images used here, uh, I am giving all these images in description box. You can see there. Thank you.